Hello, people. I'm Javi Kawai. Joining us is Olina Fomina. We're going to look at the New Mutants trailer number one. And Olina said that she saw a little bit of this on... Just a little bit of it on Instagram. On one Instagram. of the actors, yeah. From the YouTube description, X-Men The New Mutants trailer number one. This stars Maisie Williams, Anna Taylor-Joy, and Charlie Heaton. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. I want you to respond truthfully. Have you ever hurt someone? Yes. Have you ever experienced anything you'd consider abnormal? Yes. Last question. Do you know what mutants are? Wow. It has the uh, Legion you know baby vibe. rattlesnakes are more dangerous than adult ones? They haven't learned how to control how much venom they secrete. All of you are dangerous. That's why you're here. Oh, is this related to Logan? I don't think so. But it has different vibes than other mutants. It was more like scary. What is this place? Let's see, let me see. It's a haunted house. What is this? No. You've been through a lot. Yeah. Get some rest. Yeah. I've been through a lot after this trailer. Wow. Wow. For a second, I thought it was related to Logan because did you see Logan? Yes. Yeah, it was all about the. I mean, there's a big part of the story that dealt with kids being locked up who were being trained to be part of this military or something. And I thought maybe this was like a precursor to that, but it seems like a totally different story. Mm -mm. It seems like they've been like just experimented on, not like even trained, but like they're gonna seem like they in some haunted house or something. Yeah. Have you watched Legion? No, I haven't. It's about Professor Xavier's son. It's like a TV show on Fox. Pretty much, he's in this psychiatry psychiatrist like hospital and stuff like that and they messing with his mind he thinks he's crazy but uh -huh. in reality he's a mutant he can like read minds and like control minds and stuff like that but it has really dark vibe just like that yeah. and it's really similar because like when you watch it you like i watched like a few episodes in the row of legion and i'm like oh my god i'm getting depressed right now this is so sad but it's mutants at the same time there's like other mutants popping up here and there, but yeah. it's just really depressing like that. So you know how usually X-Men has like a little bit of humor, a little bit of like lighter vibe here and there. Yeah. There's like jokes and relationship and here is just really, really dark. It's designed to scare you, right? Mm -hmm. And so they're going for more of a horror vibe, which is cool. I haven't mm -hmm. seen a Marvel film that's gone for more of the horror vibe yet that, that, that I can recall to the best of my recollection. I can't think of any other comic book based films that were designed to scare you, to frighten you. I mean. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there were darker comic book based films like Blade, yes. you know, where you're dealing with vampires and whatnot and it's gruesome. But this feels like a horror house. I haven't seen a Marvel movie do that. And that's an, actually a very interesting premise is yeah. someone with legitimate superpowers unleashing hell on this place. I actually like that concept a lot as different. it feels original. I haven't mm -hmm. seen that anywhere else yet that I can mm -hmm. think of. And so I like it a lot. I'm not super into horror, uh, as many of you guys know. So my two things are like, I'm not really into romance, I'm not into horror, but I like the premise of this a lot. And so I'm actually curious about it. I'm just interested in how they got in there. Well, it's in the description it says, five young mutants just discovering their abilities when they held in a sacred facility against their will. Which is like, you know, part of the X-Men universe, you know, people being locked yeah. up and, and experimented on. Did you hear that she asked, do you know where the mutants are? So there are more mutants, so I don't know. I yeah. guess we had to wait to find out. That's yeah. interesting. Maybe I feel, like, I feel like they're gonna release more trailers because right now they're just gonna throw it out there and just like, oh, let's confuse people people a little bit like let's see what reactions is gonna get because well, the fact that she's asking you know the mutants are mm -hmm. leads me to think that maybe just maybe there is a tangential 
slight connection to Logan mm-hmm. in so far as that experimentation that we mm-hmm. that I mentioned, you know, earlier. It's mm-hmm. got to be something there because if she's asking about other mutants to bring in to kind of harbor these powers, it almost reminds me of a video game called Infamous Second Son where it was mm-hmm. like, that was, I don't know if you played that. No, but, but that, I heard about it. That was yeah. a big part of the game was harnessing these powers. Mm-hmm. So, so do you think it's past Logan or like during Logan time? Ooh, good question. I would imagine that it's past Logan mm-hmm. because, you know, a number of the children escape from the facility, maybe not all of them did, if this is remotely connected to that story. And so they've got five left. Mm-hmm. I don't know, something. For all of you comic book aficionados who know way more than I do, and please I do. <laughs> yeah, let, let us know in the comments below what the hell's going on. But I am legitimately interested in yeah. this. I think it's cool. Uh, and this is coming from a dude who's not into horror movies. Check out Olino Fomino on the social media. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to help support the channel, go to patreon.com slash Jabby And uh, yeah, check out our other videos, our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Kuei. This is... Olina Fomina. You learn how to say it. Okay. <laughs> Peace out.